Wow. That's a big chunk of metal. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on Mike's truck. You guys might know Mike from the last line of defense. So we're going to have his truck here for about a week or so. There's a lot of things that needs to be tweaked and just updated. His build has been um, this way in this stage for a while now. So there's a lot of things that's a little bit outdated. But in this video, we're going to show you guys probably the most annoying thing that he's been dealing with, which is the rubbing that he gets with his 35 inch tires. So with that being said, we're going to show you guys what we did to make his tires not rub anymore and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. All right, so as you guys can see here, Mike was rubbing a lot right here. And that's because this chop wasn't really as far back as it really could have been. But since there's really not much material left for us to weld on another plate and redo the chop, we're gonna be doing the entire relocate on this. So we already kind of have it hacked in there. So we're gonna finish chopping this off and show you guys the rest. Wow, that's a big chunk of metal. All right, this is what it looks like back there. So we're gonna clean this up and then we'll get the new piece welded on. All right, so we have the entire frame cleaned up, as you can see here. And what Mitch just did with the new bolt here is he dropped it down from the inside, just so we can see where the mount is gonna be. So that way we can use that as a guide to kind of line up where everything's gonna lay. And then uh, we'll show you guys what to do next. All right, so when you guys get the bushing, this is how it'll come inside the packaging. So you pull it apart. We'll put that part on the bottom with the sleeve in it. And then the top bushing, we'll just put it right on top. And then the big washer will go right on top of that one. The other one will be on the bottom with the nut. So what we'll do now, move it over to the vehicle get it lined up with pretty much where we want it or need it to be and then if you guys see here this side has that little or big circle on the driver's side you will not have that circle for some reason but uh basically we're just gonna get it tightened and then this is that other plate that's gonna go right behind that to strengthen that part and kind of brace it and then gives it just enough more meat to grab onto so that will be how it will look all right so as you guys can see here we got four corners tacked on we took off the actual round part of it now we can actually weld this all right so now we have the back plate welded on there and then now, put that bolt back in. We're gonna be pretty much lining it up. We're gonna tack weld the actual round part of it and then finish off that weld. Now, we're gonna be mounting this up. So basically what we did, we dropped the new bolt down in there, installed the bushings, and then we tacked the very inside and then the four corners of this piece. And then we took the bushings out. Now we're gonna weld everything from the inside and the outside of this piece then we will go ahead and put the bushings back and then fully tighten everything after we had that tacked in as you can see here we welded all the way so this part here this bottom part this was actually a separate piece so we it was open because so you can get inside and weld the inner part all around there and then you put that cap on and then you finish the weld so 
after all that turned out really really nice I'm gonna show you guys the other side because the other side's already done so really nice wells that we got going on here we have the black bushings and then we use steel it which is a stainless steel paint and so it's a lot better than just using regular paint because no matter how many layers you put on it will peel later so as you can tell it turned out real nice we have all the clearance here so there's nothing sticking out so we won't have any issues with rubbing at all another thing that we notice here is that whoever did his chop before they cut and smashed the pinch weld towards the inside instead of towards the outside which is what we like to do just because it does fall into this nice cavity really well and it kind of gives you more clearance as this side it just kind of folds and just lays on top adding more layer to it to potentially rub on your tires so what we're going to do for mike we're going to peel this off cut and then flatten everything towards that side it's just so that way it matches so as you guys can see here this is mike's 35 inch tire it says it right there 35 by 12 and a half by 17 and he has it wrapped around these black rhino wheels but in the back is not really an issue in the front here so as you guys can see whoever tried to trim this up and did his chop as well um, didn't do a super clean job so what we'll do for Mike is we'll clean this all up so that way it's at least straight and not super jagged like that hopefully it wasn't Mike if it was you Mike sorry but we'll fix it for you so all this will get cleaned up um, and that way we can throw the 35 back on the front and you won't have any issues at all in the front but as you guys can kind of see here he is rubbing in some other places but that's really all a part of it another thing that will help is that we will be upgrading his bump stops in the front so that way they're a little bit taller and uh, it's a lot softer so that way when he hits a dip or a, a pothole um, or a bump that it will absorb a lot better all right guys we are all done with the body mount relocate and we will have those and anything else that was in this video down in the description as always and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did we will have more with mike's truck so make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll see you guys next time peace